All right, guys, so we have another unboxing here. Um, this is the second shipment out of three recent ones. I'm still not 100% sure when the third one will be here because um, where it's at right now, there's still higher temps. So just waiting um, to play it safe. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this right here is another addition to my collection. It is a future breeder, um, and I'm excited for it because it's some new uh, genetics, and it is a male as well, um, because I'll explain my plans and stuff later, but just so you guys know, I probably said this before, if you guys ever get these prowl packs, you can keep them because they can be reused, so if you ever need it um, for when you ever ship a gecko in the future, you can always keep them. This gecko is from, I think there are cards in here. Yep. This gecko is from Dragonborn Exotics, Brian. Uh, all his info is right there. I would fo definitely follow him on Instagram because he has some really neat animals. Not just gargoyles, but a ton of high quality animals in general. He threw in this little seal right here with his logo on it. It's pretty cool. I like the gold on the back there, but here's his card. So this is from Ryan. Uh, just give him a follow on Instagram. Now this gecko in here. So he's got another seal on it. It is from... As you can see, that's not his logo right there. Um, that is Gargoyle Queen Reptiles. The reason being is because this was a collab um, between two of, with, this was a collab with uh, Gargoyle Queen, her male, and Dragonborn's female, which I will throw pictures up so that way you guys can see um, which ones I'm talking about the the credit to these photos goes to them But this is the main reason that I purchased this mail was because of those two um, Parents right there. They're pretty insane. It is gargoyle queens of vapona and Dragonborn exotics I'm gonna mispronounce it, but I think it's Amaterasu Hash day for this 11 11 20 2020 and this is a male so here, let's pop them out. So this male right here is a super blotch from that pair. It is, right now, it's the only Gorg that they've released from that pair. Um, so... Not only are the genetics really nice on this one, but also they aren't going to be releasing many from that pair. Um, he's still pretty small right now, um, but the reason I jumped on it was because of he's going to have a lot of development. But also that way I have an, uh, another male blotch to use in my blotch project blotch projects because right now i only have one male blotch and i'm going to have about four or five blotch females so i wanted to have two um but also to think long term that way if i get babies from each pairs i can put them together but yeah show you guys a little close up i like that little color on his face you can see those little dots along his head um and he has some nice pattern down his sides and his back. The one thing about the blotches is typically, not always, I mean, it does depend on their genetics, but a lot of times they develop a lot uh, more in terms of like their color spreading and uh, stuff like that. It seems to develop a lot more than stripes. Obviously, there are some stripes that might not have much color as they're little. Whenever they got older, they have a ton of color all over. But it just seems to happen with blotches more often where they can kind of surprise you with how they look like um, in the future. So with this guy being still pretty small right now, 
I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what he's going to look like when he gets older because a lot of times with the blotches, those little patches right there, um, they usually just keep spreading out, spreading out, spreading out. It doesn't really connect down the back, but I'm not too worried about that because the uh, females I have, I'm pretty confident in them as well. Um, but he has a ton of color along the sides and a ton of speckling. Sometimes it's easier to see when they're fired down. Sometimes it's easier to see when he's fired, when the uh, blotches are fired up all their color um, because there's a lot of detail in there as well you can see like all those tiny little specks that are all throughout there um those will normally when it developing all those little specks end up spreading and spreading and same with those larger blotches along the sides so yeah i'm really excited for this dude right here um he's definitely going to be one that i will be breeding hopefully um Probably not next year, but the year after that. It's never bad to think long term with these, um, depending on what your goals are. But yeah, I'm really excited um, to watch him grow, watch him develop, and see what he's going to turn out. Especially considering what both of his parents look like. My opinion, that pair, um, Vapona and Amaterasu, is probably one of the nicest blotch pairs out there. And I've seen some of his siblings as well. And they're all really, really nice. So I'm definitely excited for it. I'm glad to have these genetics in my collection. And eventually, um, you know, eventually some babies from him a couple of years down the line. But yeah, so it's another addition. And then I will spoil it. I have two more blotch females around his size as well that are the next shipment that should be coming. So I'm excited for those. Whenever they get in, I'll definitely post another video on it. But yeah, if you guys ever want to reach out or want to see more pictures of my stuff, just make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, at Red Rack. That's where I'm the most active. And um, I do have Facebook. There are some photos there. I'm not as active on that. That is Red Rack as well. But if you ever got, if you ever have any questions or want to reach out don't ever hesitate i always take the time to make sure i respond to everyone and um you know thoroughly answer as much as i can some of those questions or just wants to chat or you know anything like that um so yeah thanks again for watching guys i appreciate all the support and yeah reach out if you need anything thanks